Hello, everybody, and welcome to this special broadcast from RBN of Bowling Night Finals between Aqua from the Losers Bracket and Crazy Time from the Winners Bracket. So, Aqua and Crazy met in the Winners Bracket semifinals, but Crazy won 205 to 201. So, Crazy starts off his frame with a, s a Niner. And he'll go up for his second throw. And he'll get it. Spare for crazy. Aqua up now, looking to match or beat his spare. So the way that this works is... And he'll strike? Okay. So... The way that this works is that if Aqua wins the first, they'll go into the second game. If Crazy wins, they will be done. So the number on the left is going to be your K count. The number on the right being overall score as displayed by the scoreboard. So Crazy's going to get a strike in the second frame. Aqua will get a second strike. Moving to the third frame. Crazy heads up the ball. That's another strike. So Aqua comes up, looking to start off his game with a turkey. He will not. Niner for Aqua. He'll leave the five pin, chilling. So both contestants thus far, two strikes and a spare. So Aqua will be credited with 59 points going into frame 4. Ooh, Crazy hits a 9. So that'll end his strike streak. He'll spare. Both of these players going perf going for perfection to win this game today. So that gives Crazy 79 points on the scoreboard. As Aqua gets his turn in the fourth frame. So Aqua rolls one down. Strike third of the game, and he'll take the lead, three strikes to two. Crazy comes up again, looking to match. Both, both contenders tied at 79 on the board. Crazy strikes, three for each here in the fifth frame.
Aqua strikes again. Four. Crazy displays 99 points on the scoreboard. Crazy gets another strike here in the sixth. So Aqua comes up again in the bottom of the sixth frame. Shoots that one down the lane, strike his fifth as we head into frame seven. So Aqua got a turkey. Crazy looking to match that here in the top of the seventh frame. Niner! That's not good for Crazy. And here we have VX Parker. Hello, hello, hello. He recently just lost the Losers Bracket Final. So Parker, how does it feel to lose the Losers Bracket Final by Strike Tiebreaker? Um, well, first off, losing to the same person who beat me by one frame in the winner's bracket is, is tough. And then going on to lose by a, a, a number of strikes is uh, hard, too. But it's things I could have prevented. Got certain spares and strikes, is, so it's... Ooh, and Aqua won't get a... You won't get a, a strike there. Get an eighth. Sorry, go ahead, Park. It's just things I could have prevented, and uh, I failed to do that, and uh, it's, it's over now. So, do you think that this first bowling tournament by the RBC was a win or was it a loss? Oh, it I think it was. A, I think it was a huge win. It was a a chance for the RBC community to connect with each other, and I think a lot of people enjoyed it, and it was a, a total success. Cool, cool. So, you. Do you have a history in row bowling? Uh, it was just a little hobby, and I liked I liked just coming here and bowling because it was easy and it's just a fun thing. Yeah. So crazy and Aqua are neck and neck right here in the first match, and crazy will get another niner. It looks like Aqua might pull this one out. So, how do you think? How do you think this finals match is going right now? Uh, I think it's just it's just whoever throws most strikes. It really is, yeah. It's just, I don't know. It could be. It can go either way. Oh, crazy! Misses the spare. Oh, that'll be game. He missed the spare. Yeah. He opened it. That's. So, yeah. In the eighth frame, crazy opens nine and misses his last one. So, it looks like Aqua's gonna win game one. So, game two is gonna be the one that chooses it. Even though Aqua, no, he'll strike there, so that'll be a sixth strike in the eighth frame. Coming into game or frame nine, crazy down by two strikes and uh, quite a few points. And he'll get a glitch frame and he'll sp he'll split. So crazy's done for this one. Who do you, who do you got winning game two? Realistically, um, game three between these guys, because crazy won game one back in round three of the winners bracket. Hmm. It's it's really hard to tell. It is just about whoever just just throws the better ball, and if. I know if Ock can get on a hot streak, then he's he's got it unlocked. But I've seen Crazy and him pull out some high scores, and it's just whoever just can can pull off the strikes and just stay consistent. It's 
So Spares cool are Niner important, here. but at the end of the day, it's 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 if you can strike or not. And like my match, I all I had to do was strike in the final frame, and I would have had it. But unfortunately, I got a nine, and I was a. Like and I and it's just I bowled a heck of a day. I really had no problems up until I lost Aqua by one with an open frame, and yeah. just you just hate to see it, you know. I was pulling off for a Cinderella story, but not really. But Crazy gets another split here in the tenth. That's unfortunate. Hopefully he'll be able to shake that off in game two. Here's the last, Crazy's likely last roll in the, in the game one. He'll miss. So Crazy will end this game with a total of, I believe, 182. 183 for Crazy in the end of the first, and Aqua will go up to ceremonially end the first game. So we'll head to game two, tied up. Aqua strikes his seventh of the game. And so does whoever was two lanes down. Me. <laughs> it's just this is a, a new set for RBC and what it its community is around for as there might be more of these and uh, people getting together and wanting to do this more because it was a well-liked event and I feel like it'll just, it won't be the last tournament we have. Yeah, I agree. So, Aqua's about to finish game one. One more throw for him. And he'll finish with a score somewhere in the low 200s. Or no, mid 200s, my bad. He'll have 222 plus 3. So that's 225 final for Aqua in game 1. Put that in the bracket real quick. So 225 to 183 in game 1. It's all up to game 2 now. One final game. Aqua vs. Crazy. So we'll reset the scoreboard. Frame one, game two. So yeah, the tur this tournament has been a great tournament. We've had a total of this will be game number 31. We had some um, default wins in the early going because of people leaving, like Finn Clurry and Juice. But <clears throat> lots of games this tournament have been very close. With I think somewhere around 10 games being decided by either tiebreaker or less than 10 points crazy and aqua in the semifinals of the winners bracket or in the finals of the winners bracket crazy won by three um in the final round of the losers bracket they tied they had a strike tiebreaker um there was a nine a nine point game in the losers bracket between doug and hala the sheen that had him eliminated in three games surprisingly even though Doug was the first player of the tournament to score over two, or no, the second player in the tournament to score over 200. And some other close games include Doug and Crazy, which was also score, uh, which was also decided by strike tie. Weehawk and Quiz in round two, squ uh, decided by four points. A lot and Squeaker in round two, decided by five points. And Aqua and Parker in round two, decided by one point. Round two in the winner's bracket were all, were all decided by less than five points. It's been a very competitive tournament. And I believe Crazy and Aqua have just begun. Yeah, they have. They both scored strikes to start off their game. So we'll head into the second frame. Crazy is following this time. Aqua will be starting.
Aqua throws his frame two. Strike. Perfect so far. Crazy up looking to match. Oh! 10 pin didn't fall. Niner for crazy. So he'll go up to get the spare. He will. So crazy will be marked with 30 points and he will again be the first one to not convert a strike. Aqua will strike once more. Crazy really has to try to strike out here if he's looking to win this game. Crazy rolls it. Strike. His second. We'll go into the fourth frame. Aqua looking to get his fourth strike in a row. Niner. That'll end his streak. <clears throat> Aqua spares it. Moving into the bottom of frame four for crazy time. The score on the board, 89 Aqua, 50 Crazy. But really ignore the score on the board and just look at the strike number. That'll be that'll really usually be the score that decides it. Crazy strikes, his third. So we'll move into frame five, three strikes each. Very close game thus far. This one is definitely the one we've all been looking for in this tournament. We'll just have to watch for who screws up first here. An open frame is basically a loss. As Aqua gets another Niner. Steps up to take his 9 shot. And Aqua spares it. Crazy goes up here in the fifth. He nines. Crazy rolls it, picks up the spare. And the score on the scoreboard is 108 for Aqua and 99 for Crazy. Both, both men with three strikes going into frame number six. <coughs> Aqua steps up, top of the sixth.
He rolls. Almost a 7-10, but he'll get a niner. Picks up the spare. Moving into the bottom of frame six. This is Crazy's opportunity to put a stamp on the game and kind of get the lead going. One twenty-seven and ninety-nine on the scoreboard so far. Crazy up, looking for a strike. He won't get one. Another niner. There have been no strikes since the fourth frame of this matchup. Crazy will spare up. It's a nine pin difference going into frame number seven. This is an extremely close game so far. On scoreboard marking 127 to 118. No strikes since frame four. Aqua rolls. 7 10! Oh no! Aqua, I don't think he's gonna get this one. If he's able to pick this one up, then he deserves to win this game. But Aqua gets left with a 7 10 split. He's in a big pickle here. Let's see how he reacts to this. He won't get it, so Aqua's kind of screwed here. Crazy has an opportunity to to get it. If he gets a strike here, that's basically it. Let's see how Crazy does. The roll. Strike! Crazy's fourth and the first strike since frame number four. As we move into the eighth frame, after Aqua drops a frame. Score on the scoreboard 138 to 144, but that's not including any additional strike points Crazy will get that Aqua is not able to get due to his open frame. Aqua is looking to strike out here so he can win. He will strike that time. We're going to the bottom of the eighth frame. Crazy just has to be, it doesn't have to be perfect here, he just has to be quite good. Perfect is ideal, of course, but Let's see what he does here. Crazy's eighth frame throw. Down the middle. He'll get the strike. Second in a row, his fifth of the game. And we'll move into the second to last frame. Crazy a strike ahead. Aqua with a dropped frame. Aqua needs four straight strikes here to have a chance. Right, here he is in the ninth frame. Rolls in. Strike. His fifth. Crazy really needs a strike if he wants the advantage going into the 10th. And here's the roll. Nine! This is going to be close going into the 10th. Five strikes apiece. Crazy's going to pick up his spare. So we'll move into the 10th frame. Very close game so far from these two contenders. Aqua looking to strike out. 10th frame, remember there's an opportunity for up to three strikes in the 10th frame. His first one, strike. 
his sixth. Aqua doesn't strike here. It's probably game over. He won't. It's a nine. We'll see how the score pans out, but I think that's it for Aqua. So he will have... Following this frame, let me see. Two, two, three. Crazy has 187. He needs a couple strikes here, I think. But this is it right here. He'll get however many points he gets on this stroke for the previous frame, and however many he gets for this frame. He's currently like 30-something behind. One strike and one spare will probably get it for Crazy. Oh, no! He splits it! Crazy with 203 points. He needs this spare. This is the shot. This is the shot that decides the tournament. Here it goes. He didn't get it. That's it. Crazy loses. Aqua will win the tournament. So Aqua wins 250. That'll be the final, 223 to 204. An excellent final match here. And we'll be, we'll be sure to bring you some more row bowling in the future. I'll, I'll look into streaming potentially an entire tournament with a live bracket feed on the screen. That'll be a cool idea. But for now, and from today's tournament, we congratulate Aqua for winning the tournament. Congratulate Crazy Time for second and Parker Peter for third place. But that'll be all for me today, and I'll see you next time at the next RBC game. Goodbye.